What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Hustle with Jesse W. And today we're going to go over the truth about cash accounts. Check it out. That's right guys, two episodes, one day. What is going on? Yesterday it was the same thing. A trade recap in the morning followed by that Robinhood 2.07% interest uh, cash management account they got going on now. And if you haven't seen that video, for sure, check it out. You're not gonna wanna miss it. Uh, I know some people have already signed up for it as well because, well, I got a free stock and they already got their message letting them know what they have to do to claim their free stock from it. So pretty cool. The the uh, video will be at the end of this video and I'll also drop a link down in the description section below so you can click that and watch it as well. Uh, that one is really interesting because Robinhood now has an account where you can put your money and earn interest on it and it's FDIC insured. Uh, so today's video is the truth about cash accounts, trading cash accounts. There's just so much misconception out there that I keep hearing from people regarding trading in cash accounts. Is it worth it? Do you have to be under PDT? So and so on and so forth. So much confusion, so much. It's kind of ridiculous at this point. So I'm going to shed some light on that because I've been trading in a cash account for um, about a year now. Actually, no, no, I think next month it'll be a year I've been trading in a cash account. So not bad at all. Before that, I traded in a margin account. So I've traded in margin accounts. I've traded in, uh, my margin account was above PDT. Uh, and now I'm trading in a cash account as well. So we're going to go over that. And I'm not only just going to tell you, I'm going to show you online uh, actual proof of what I'm saying uh, to be factual. Okay. So let's go ahead and minimize this window and get right into it. As I do that, smash the like button for me uh, and subscribe to the channel. So here we go. So first things first, when you trade in a cash account and you buy stock, let's say you buy a thousand dollars worth of ONCS, which was stock I traded today. You buy a thousand dollars worth. Now you sell it a few minutes later or at the end of the day, regardless, doesn't matter. You sold it today. That thousand dollars, hopefully you sold it for a profit. So maybe you made a hundred bucks. Now you have $1,100. You get those 1100 bucks. Okay. You can't use them yet. It's unsettled funds tomorrow. Those funds are still unsettled. You can use them like so they'll let you buy something, but you won't be able to sell it. So like you can rebuy ONCS today or tomorrow with that same $1,100. You can buy it, but you won't be able to sell it. They won't allow you. You can override it and click it and sell it. However, you'll get a strike. They'll be penalized for it and they will not let you use unsettled funds again. Now, those funds are unsettled. When will they settle? When will that cash be free? When can you take that money out and go on vacation, put it in your bank account or buy another stock and sell it in the same day? Well, some people will tell you that cash settlement is T plus three, which means three days after you sell it. That is false. That is no longer true. That changed, I think, about a year ago. Now it's T plus two. What does that mean? What does T plus two mean, Jesse? Very simple. You bought it today, tomorrow, it's not settled the day after it's settled. And we can just look in right here, fidelity.com, okay? This is from them. As the term implies, a cash account requires that you pay for all purchases in full by the settlement date. According to industry standards, most securities have a settlement date that occurs on trade date, trade date, the day you traded it, plus two business days. T plus two. This means if you buy a stock on Monday and you sold it on Monday, the settlement date would be Wednesday. Okay, so that cash will be settled on Wednesday. This is why I tell everybody, if you have $5,000 in your cash account, you can basically trade $2,500 every single day because you trade $2,500 on Monday. It's not settled on Tuesday, but you still have 2,500 bucks. You trade those on Tuesday. Now the 2,500 bucks you traded on Monday is settled on Wednesday and you can use those. And the ones from Tuesday are settled on Thursday and you can use those. The ones from Wednesday are settled on Friday and you can use those so on and so forth. You can basically trade every other day your cash account if you have enough money or if you take according, you know, proper sizing, etc. Uh, to, to keep that in mind. So every other day you could trade. I, 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 can, I trade every day. I'll, I'll trade five to 15 times in a week out of my cash account. Now, granted, I don't have $5,000 in my cash account. My cash account generally has anywhere between fifteen to $20,000. Okay, because I take money out here and there. I need access to my funds for other investments. That's how I do it. That's what that's why I trade it. Well, that's how I trade my cash account. 
and it works for me so far. Now, if you trade options, options are a little bit different, okay? If you trade options, options settle within 24 hours. Like yesterday, I believe it was yesterday. Yeah, I believe it was yesterday. I traded some options. The money that I used to trade yesterday settled already for my options trade. Uh, just because options settle faster. But the point is that you're not under PDT, okay? If you if you take, if you have $10,000 in your trading account and you take three trades today, okay, of $3,333 each, that's going to come out to, you know, almost your $10,000. If you do that today, you're not going to be flagged as a pattern day trader, Okay. That's not going to happen tomorrow. You won't be able to trade because you won't have any settled cash on Wednesday. Well, if today was Monday on Wednesday, you would have settled cash. Your full account would be settled and you can trade again. That's how it works. You could take another three trades. That'll give you six trades in the week and you've only, and you still have what Friday left. So you can literally trade as much as you want, as long as you have settled cash in your account. Okay. It has to be settled cash settled. And that's it. That's pretty much all there is to it. There's no hocus pocus sorcery going on here. That is how a cash account works. And if you have any doubts, you can always call into your broker and ask them specifically. You can also, you know, Google it. Look, trading in a cash account T plus two. This is directly from Fidelity. I've been trading an E-Trade. That's where I trade. I trade on E-Trade and I've been trading this way for almost a year now and it works just fine. I think, I think a little bit over a year actually, and it works just fine for me. Every other day, my cash that I used settled. Like today I traded ONCS. I bought, uh, what was it? About uh, 2000 and change, $2,000 I used, okay? Tomorrow is Friday, so therefore that cash will not be settled because I used it today. On Monday, I will have access to that cash again to use it as I please. Granted, I'll still I'll be able to trade tomorrow because I have more money in my account. But that's, that's the gist of it all. Very simple. There is no PDT under a cash account. You can trade as much as you want as long as it's settled cash and trade carefully. That's all you got to do. Let me know what type of account you prefer. This is one way around PDT. I think it's a great idea. What are your thoughts? Drop them in the comment section below. Remember to subscribe to the channel. Subscribe again. If you haven't, smash that like button for me and I'll catch you on the next one.